Inside this laboratory at the Lester Smith Medical Research Institute, two women who met as graduate students at the University of Texas at San Antonio have formed a startup company to revolutionize nipple reconstruction for women who have had mastectomies. I have a strong history of breast cancer in my family. Uh, many women in my family have contracted it, and so I've had a very close relationship with the reconstruction and, and what women go through when they're going through that process. Um, and so we looked at some research and found that one in eight women will get breast cancer in her lifetime, and many updates have been done in breast reconstruction over the years, but nipple reconstruction is simply a tattoo and a scar mount during current reconstruction techniques. So in the age of tissue engineering, it seemed like that was a bit outdated. So uh, we set out to use our tissue engineering background to improve that technique for women. Lauren and I met in graduate school and we became best friends. So she would come over all the time and we'd have tea together and have different ideas about things. And then this is an idea that Lauren came up with and I was just thought that this is the best idea ever. And I was like, yes, well, you know what? Like, we need to do it. We need to create a, a we need to do the research, create a company and make this product available to people. It's a lot like a skin graft. So when patients are burned, Sometimes they'll get artificial skin put in place and your cells will go into it over time. That's essentially what we're doing here. So we receive tissue that we screen for diseases, um, nothing contagious, AIDS, Hep B, Hep C, and they can't have had breast cancer previously. So we receive this tissue and we remove the DNA and any components that might cause an immune reaction. So it basically leaves this very thin dermal layer, which can be sutured into the patient, and over time, like with wound healing, your cells will grow into this scaffold. The final product is our, is our regenerated nipple. So we start with human donor tissue, uh, then we process it to remove all the cells and DNA through the decellularization process, and then what's left behind is the extracellular matrix scaffold. So this is kind of like the structural framework around the cells. Um, so it provides a unique environment so the cells can grow back into it after all the cells have been removed from the donor and they know, okay, I need to become this type of cell or that type of cell and you have the maintained structure. So really you have regenerated tissue instead of just recreating the appearance of a nipple. You have women are enabled to regenerate an actual nipple made out of their own cells using our scaffold. So Lauren, this is where a lot of the research is taking place. What are we seeing right here? Uh, what we're seeing here is our decellularization process. Um, so it starts with donated nipple areolar tissue, and this tissue comes in all different shapes and sizes, as nipples do, and we factor that into our process. So age, weight is factored into the time it's spent here in the shaker. And so we put our uh, tissue into different solutions, so there's different stages going on, and once it's done, it is removed, sterilized, and stored, and it's ready for processing for the surgeon. So here we have uh, a nipple that's been newly received. Um, as you can see, there's still several, there's a lot of pigmentation left here. Okay. Um, so this has a long time to go for its process of decellarization. And here you can see something that's a bit further along. The tissue has been um, turned white, which is an indication that the decellarization is occurring. Um, so this is in a rinse stage right now. So this is some nipple areolar tissue that's about halfway through the decellarization process. Um, as you can see, it's lost some of its pigmentation here. It's starting to turn white. Um, you can clearly see our nipple and areola. Um, the tissue is fairly thin, which is important for grafting purposes for be revascularized. Um, so as this process continues, this tissue will get whiter, and um, then it'll be ready for decellularization, for, for transplantation into a patient. Where is this tissue coming from, and who is this tissue coming from? All of our tissue comes from accredited tissue banks, um, from people who choose to donate their body to research or science. And that tissue bank um, tests this tissue for diseases um, and makes sure it's appropriate for this kind of work. We don't know who specifically is donating the tissue. No identifying information is given to us when we receive the samples. We know um, their age, ethnicity, and, and how they passed away. Um, but other than that, this tissue is um, unidentifiable from its owner. However, we do sincerely appreciate when people uh, bring this tissue or donate it because it makes this possible for other women to have an option for nipple regeneration, which wouldn't be possible without uh, people donating their bodies to research. So it's just another example of how it is important to be a donor, you know, whether, it's whether very you're important a, to be a, a donor. heart donor, a liver donor, in this case, a, a nipple donor. And some people, you know, they might feel a little odd about donating their nipples to science. Um, we can see that, you know, there's, it's a very sensitive topic, but it's really for the greater good. Um, now that people know that they can go to help other women, we're hoping that it'll cause a rise in donating nipples uh, to science and research. We're trying to make this process 
more fun for women. So you, you've had um, all these reconstructions and you're waiting to get this cherry on the top, the nipple reconstruction, and we want to say, hey, pick your pair. You know, so we've got nipples um, that have been donated, they're different sizes, so women can go in and say, hey, I, I like that one, let me get that on. And then over time, they'll be able to regenerate an actual nipple instead of just having a tattoo. So we want women to be able to walk away feeling like themselves again um, and to have the option to pick, pick their pair. Um, it might be a strange slogan, but we think it can make this process that's very emotional a little bit more fun.